Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showcasing Yenching and giving you guys an in-depth guide to help you use this character to its full potential. I'm going to be telling you guys the best relics and light cones, also who else you should and shouldn't be running on your team with Yenching. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the skills and what makes them different from any other character. So with Yenching, you're going to be using your skill almost every time you get your turn. And this is because the skill activates soul sync for one turn so what soul sync does it enhances your other abilities like for example your alt so if your soul steel sync is active after you use your alt it increases ying ching's crit rate by 60 percent yeah that is a ton of crit rate and also what it does for the talent when soul steel sync is active ying ching is less likely to be attacked by enemies which is huge because you never want your main dps to be targeted so that's about it for Soul Steel Sync. So let's talk about other abilities that Ying Ching has. So one more thing I want to talk about Soul Steel Sync is if Ying Ching receives damage, the Soul Steel Sync effect will disappear. So you want to make sure that the, he doesn't get targeted and the passive remains up as long as possible. There's also one more cool talent that Ying Ching has. He actually has a follow-up attack. Ying Ching attacks an enemy. There is a 53% fixed chance to perform a follow-up attack, dealing ice damage equal to 32% of Ying Ching's attack to the enemy, which has a 65% base chance to freeze the enemy for one turn. And this follow-up attack is huge. It's great for getting extra damage and also freezing enemies. So the last thing I'm going to mention is his technique. After using his technique, at the start of the next battle, Ying Ching deals 30% more damage for two turns to the enemies whose HP is 50% or greater. This also can help in boss fights or when you're doing worlds or memory. Alright, so for the light gun, you should be running on Yanqing. His best 5 star is Sleep Like the Dead and Cruising in the Stellar Sea. Sleep Like the Dead is his signature cone. You gain 30% more crit damage, which is a huge power boost. You could argue that Cruising in the Stellar Sea has a more consistent hit rate, but it's really up to you which you choose here. Now for his best 4 star cones. His best 4 star cones are going to be River Flows in Spring and Only Silence Remains. I'd go with River Flows in Springs, but if you don't have it, then Only Silence Remains will do the job. Alright, and finally, for his best 3 star, it's going to be Dark arrows. Alright, now we're going to take a look at the relics. The best relics for Yingqing is the four-piece hunter of the glacial forest. This is a great relic for him because of all the ice and crit damage you get from it. Now for the planner ornaments. These are in order from best to worst, top to bottom. Depending on where you're at in the game currently will impact which of these you can obtain. I'd recommend going for the space ceiling station, but if you could get anything higher up on the list, then go for it. One more thing I'm going to talk about is who is good to pair with Yingqing and who you should avoid. So the best characters to pair him with are MC fired and Japard. This is because they are both high aggro shielding characters. MC Fire even has a skill that taunts enemies to pull even more aggro off Yen Ching. And a character you would want to avoid is March 7th. This is because her skill actually increases aggro and the last thing you want is your main damage getting targeted. Alright guys, I appreciate if you made it to the end. This video took a lot of time and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.